OK, so by looking at this one, example number three, this is our power of quotient property. So if you get a problem, you're like, ah, I get stuck. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Go back through looking through those notes and see which exact property you can apply. So the product of, or the power of quotient property stated that when you had a quotient and that was raised to an exponent, that was equivalent to a to the negative third divided by 4 to the negative third, right? And then you see, all right, what else can I do to maybe you know, simplify that or some sort? But before we even get to that point, we remember that the negative exponent rule stated that whenever you have a negative exponent, you got to put them either in the denominator to make it positive, or if it's negative in the denominator, you had to put it in the numerator, right? So this is the power of quotient property. And our negative exponent property stated, if you had x to the negative n, to make that positive, you had to put it in the denominator, or denominator. And if it was already in the denominator and it was negative, we would put it as a numerator. All right? And we don't want to write our answers. When I'm asking for simplify, I don't want you writing answers with negative exponents. So what that means is to make these both positive, I need to rewrite it. I need to write it as 4 to the positive third over a to the third. So I'm going to put this in the denominator, and I'm going to put this in the numerator. Now I go ahead and see if I simplify this. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which would be 64. OK? And if you guys want a little trick to also, whenever you have a, a quotient raised to a negative exponent, we know that that's going to be equal to 4 over 3 to the positive form of the exponent. So you can just actually flip them and then make it to the positive exponent. And that would give you the same answer as well, by simplifying that. All right? So that's example.